What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Matt here, and today we have these Walmart Mystery Power Pound Town boxes. Please bear with me as I'm attempting to lose my voice. Been a little under the weather. But if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment to get on the giveaways. And each of these have four set boosters, one collector booster, two promo cards, and a chance for a chase pack, one in ten boxes. So this first one is for my man, Andy S. Let's see what we get here. A pack of AFR. A second pack of AFR. A pack of Midnight Hunt. A second pack of Midnight Hunt. And what is this? Ooh, a Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. We'll take that. And our promo cards are Valkyrie Harbinger and a Cleaving Reaper. A couple Kaldheim cards. Not too bad. So let's start with these set boosters first and see what we get. Like I said, please bear with me. My voice is on the verge of leaving me. It's been a little while since we've opened a midnight. 2021. We're here all the way in 2023 now. Looking for the Meat Hook Massacre. And we got a Commander Mythic. Vadric. And a Sentry in Foil. Next pack. These lands are, like, I'm really happy they do a new full art for pretty much each set. I'll let you, uh, let you change up your decks a little bit, you know. Field of Ruin, good and common. Hound Tamer. Mentor. Grafted Identity. Elementalist. And a Dual Casting. Nice little list card there. Avison Restored, rare. Now we're on to AFR. Looking for Old Gnawbone, I think is the, uh, the chase mythic out of this one. And what's strange to me is in New Phyrexia, or I'm sorry, I called it New Phyrexia. Phyrexia all will be one. There's a lot of these AFR cards on the list, it seems like. We've hit quite a few already. We've been streaming these, uh, these booster boxes on Whatnot and in the Facebook group. Asmodeus the Archfiend, Elemental. And get to know your boosters. So last set booster. And I really don't remember them having these hangers for Zendikar Rising. But I didn't, I don't think I bought any of those. We got the module Evolving Wilds. Arcane Investigator. Windseer. Pixie Guide. Clutches. Power Word Kill. And Zalto Fire Giant Duke. Devil's Chosen, and that will be it. So far, nothing really spectacular. Really hoping for an expedition out of this Zendikar Rising pack. It's easier to open it from the bottom. And let's see what we get. Good luck, Andy. We need it. We need a little bit of beef out of this to uh, to make up for the, the pound town that was the set boosters. We know, we know we shouldn't buy these mystery boxes from Walmart, but for some reason we can't resist. We know it's going to be a bad time. It's kind of like drinking tequila. You know better, but you do it anyways. Nighthawk Scavenger, Squad Commander, McKinney Ox, Geopede, Showcase Morog, okay, Prowling Felidar, and a Luminarch Aspirant. Could have went worse, could have went better. We got quite a few more of these to do, guys, if you want to... Hang around and see if we get anything nice. That Zendikar Rising booster was, uh, it was, it was interesting to get it. We'll say that. Next up, we have Arturo. So let's open up the mystery power box from Pound Town Mart for Arturo. And see how we do. All right, this is all, okay. The promo out of this one, another call down promo, Cyclone Pringle. The next one is Valkyrie Harbinger. And as you can see there, it looks like our collector pack is a Core 21, which is a lot of really good hits in there. We got Kemigawa and Nuka Pena in this one. This one's got a little different flavor to it. The list out of the Kapena ones can be very loaded. It's a small list, lots of big hits. 
So hopefully we'll get some of them. Ledger Shredder and a Vampiric Tutor off the list would be ideal. But we get a cut of the profits. There's no profit in that pack, that's for sure. Next pack coming up. Foil Planes. Social Climber. Roast Master. Bookcase. Infiltrator. Indulgence. Racer's Ring. Void Rend is a pretty decent card. And no list hit. Moving on to Neon Dynasty. This uh, this set started 2022 off with a bang. The uh, the Neon Hedetsugus were really, really popular. We couldn't keep these boxes in stock. The collector boxes, anyways. And the set boxes were hard to get to start with. The Dragon Kami Reborn. Covert Technician. Oh, man. How are they going to put Mizium Tank on the list? I wonder if they put Submersible Submarine on there. Just, just for the lols, right? Just for the lols. I feel, I feel like for these are these were with tax, right? At Walmart, with tax, you're looking at about fifty five dollars per box. I feel like for fifty five bucks, they could have tossed us something else, a D twenty, one more pack, anything, invoke just this, befriending the moss. And nothing there. So time for the collector pack. We need a we need a Ugin here. We need a Ugin. Let's see if we get one. Mistral Stinger. Forest. Twin Blade Assassin. Love the basics in this. See the truth. Esteem Speaker. That's not too bad. Mangara the Diplomat. Nice little foil mythic there. Let's see if there's one more hit. Yes, to Fairy. Ooh, there's two more hits. We got a Teferi and a Foil Borderless Cultivate. So that was actually a pretty nice little Core 21 Collector Pack. Mangara, Teferi, number 292. There's like 50 versions of that card, right? And then the Foil Mangara. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Still looking for uh, one of the, I wonder what they consider a Chase Pack. Is a Core 21 considered Chase? And that one was for Arturo. Let me label it. That way we don't get these things mixed up. And booster box number three. This one is for Tim. Another Core 21, it does look like. Kamigawa. Neon Dynasty. Nuka Pena, a couple called Heim, and the Core 21. Let's see if Tim does any better with his Capena packs. Borderless Topiary Stomper, Maestros, Foil Whack. Next pack, Broken Wings. Refuse to yield. Falco. At least we got a mythic. Suspicious bookcase and a meow. Time for Kamigawa. Blade of the Oni for the mythic. Hacker. That's a good list hit. Anointed Procession. That uh, that made up maybe half the value of the box. And I didn't notice it at first, but we did get a stamped art card. Moving on. I love the artwork on this card. What, what was this? Otherworldly Light? Yes, March of Otherworldly Light. Covert Technician, Spell Pierce. Binding Palm Ninja. And we got the March here with the Mochi Cat and no list card. All right, Core 21 time. The last one was really nice. Let's see if this one follows suit. Planes. 
Sublime Epiphany, Back Leader, Transmogrify, Borderless Grim Tutor, nice hit there. Double tap on the Garouk's Uprising, and a Dog and Cat token. That's actually a pretty valuable token. Sleeve all that up, and Tim didn't do terrible, considering what we had to work with. Get Tim's sticker there. Let me box this up. And we'll move on to number four. This one is for Andrew F. Let's open it and see what we get. And I just realized I'm filming this in uh, filming this vertically instead of horizontal. So we'll see how that works out on YouTube. Maybe I can fix the aspect ratio. Maybe I can't. Promo is a Harbinger. And I'm going to guess the Cyclone Summoner. Yes, it is. So Core 21 a little different here. We got AFR and Capenna. Gonna start off with AFR packs. Here we go. Split the party. Meteor Swarm. White Manticore and a Fairy Dragon. Evolving Wilds. Purple Worm, Volo Guide to Monsters, people built Commander decks around him for a while, Desert Doom, nice hit there, no list card, we'll sleeve up the Blue Dragon though, and move on to New Capenna. Let's see what we get. Rafine, not bad. Showcase Rocco. We'll sleeve up the Rafine just in case. And the last Capenna set booster. Let's see what nice full art land in foil. Shadow of Mortality. We had somebody in the Facebook group win a Mox Ruby because of this card one time. Corpse Appraiser, no list card. Moving on the Core 21. Collector Booster. So far, we I'm, I'm guessing that maybe the Zendikar Rising was one of their, their chase boosters, they call it. Animal Sanctuary. Karavek the Spiteful. Stormwing Entity, not too bad there. Another Mr. T, this one is 293. And that will be it. So, not great, not terrible. I mean, these are fine if you got to itch to crack some packs and don't want to bust a whole booster box, but I feel like for 50 bucks they should have a little bit more in it. That's just my two cents. We're got, we got two more of these new. We'll see, we'll see how this plays out. Next one is for Josh A. So I'm going to guess Kemigawa, Kapenna, and a Core 21. Let's see what... Ooh, this one's this one threw me for a loop. This one threw me for a loop. So what we have here is we have Midnight Hunt, Japanese Strixhaven, and a Midnight Hunt collector. A couple angels from Kaldheim for the promos. So at least with Japanese Strixhaven, you have a chance that some uh, some really dope mystical archives. And that is a Putrefy. Of course, we're looking for that uh, that demonic tutor. That's the uh, that's the chase. We'll also take a time warp. There's a uh, little extra lesson there, rare lesson in the front of the pack. Expressive iteration, worth more than most of the rares in the set. Snarl. Uh, what is this one? Electrolyze. Moving on the midnight hunt. If we can find the uh, the Meat Hook Massacre, we did get a, a, a stamped art card of Haunted Ridge. That's the red and black dual land out of the set. Kyler, Sigarden Emissary. Curse of Shaken Faith, Moon Silver Key. Not much there. 
This is a really cool card. The Arlen, the Flippy Arlen. I've got that as a playmat. Consider. Really good common card. Probably one of the better cards I'll set. Primal Adversary Mythic. I forgot that was even a mythic. Locked in the cemetery. And an advertisement. So, Josh, you got a uh, two set boosters of Midnight Hunt and a collector of it. So, it's been a while since I've opened Midnight Hunt collectors. Don't even remember how these things are laid out. Island. Vanquish the Horde. Wrath effect there. Wall of Mourning. Sun Street Phoenix for the Mythic. Gisa. Witch. And a Ghoul Caller's Harvest. Nothing much to talk about there. Like I said, I don't know why we continue to get these. We just enjoy the pain. Last one here. This one's for John B. Appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know I filmed this in the wrong aspect ratio, and I know my voice sounds terrible today, but really, really appreciate you guys hanging around and putting up with it. Promos is the Valkyrie and the Cleveland Reaper. So we got a Nuka Penna Midnight Hunt and a Midnight Hunt Collector. Here we go. Looking for a Ledger Shredder, looking for a Triome. One of the big list hits out of this set. And we got a Kraken instead. Next up, Mask Bandits, Sanctuary Warden, pretty card, Structural Assault, take to the streets, and on to Midnight Hunt set boosters. Lenore again, Curse of Obsession, Ghoul Caller's Harvest, and that is it. Last set pack before we move it on to the collector. Here we go. Light up the night. Phantom carriage and no list card. There's a lot riding on this last pack. We need something. Anything. Here we go. Chaplain of arms. Light up the night in foil like we needed another one. Tomb tyrant. That artwork is so metal. Curse of Leeches. That's what you look like after you buy one of these and realize what you've done. Rockfall Veil. Vale. Okay. We'll do a land action. And a Jagar Ghost Cooler of Nathalia. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next one. I love your faces. Have a good day.